Well, there's plenty of things that, to talk about in 2014. Um, you know that we release a version every year and we're trying to put as much as we can and we really deliver. So in this version, last year we introduced a new flip solver. This year we have added an extra bit on this flip solver. So we have a new viscosity, viscosity element into the, the flip. Um, that's not the main feature, but it's kind of the one that got people excited about the, this uh, release that was uh, out just in June. And we have done a, a very nice revamping the interface. So we now have shells, so the users can create their own shell tools. Um, there is tons of enhancements in that side. And the reason that we added the shells is not just because we wanted to have shells. It's not the, the, the main reason. It's because it, they have a lot of power. Since we introduced the uh, visual scripting with the real flow graphs last year, the users can now create complex networks. And especially if you have advanced people that are used to this type of uh, graphics uh, or nodal uh, interfaces, they can compound those interfaces in a single button on the shelf. So they can share them among their colleagues in the company and, or they can even share them in our community in realflowresources.com. Um, so that's probably one of the most important features aside from the hybrid of viscosity. Uh, we have added a lot of other stuff like um, interactive meshing. So now something that is so important in for real flow users, which is uh, getting the polygonal meshes out of their particle simulations can be done in a much more smoother way. So you don't have to wait that much time to create your mesh. You just can concentrate in an area. You can have it bounded and it's interactive. So once you are clicking and modifying parameters, you instant, uh, instantly get feedback on the viewport on how that reacts. So everything gets faster. Um, I'll have to say the meshing, as I said, is, is so cool because it, it's way faster. We are also uh, updating RealFlow Render Kit, and that comes with tons of things. And now that I mention that, I, I remember that we have added an extension. So if you have a hybrid simulation where you simulate a patch, uh, hybrid is the solver that we have for large scale. It's a flip solver, and, and you generate the base of your simulation in one machine, and then you output multiple element, elements as secondaries. For example, you have, if you have a rolling wave, you're going to want to have the splash particles on top, and then you get foam particles. We have added the bubbles emitter that uh, you get the bubbles coming to the surface and then creating foam. It's really awesome. With that, uh, if you have it in a single patch simulated, you can extend it. Imagine that you have something like rising for an ocean, right? You cannot simulate an ocean, but you can simulate a portion of it. But then on camera, what you normally do, or, or in COM, is to extend that ocean with a plane and a displacement and masking that out. Now we have an option inside RealFlow, uh, when you use the hybrid measure, to create an extension out of a single patch. So the extension has low poly concentration, and it blends perfectly with the patch that we simulated for RealFlow and we mesh. And then on top of that, you apply your displacement, and it's perfect. So we have an example on, on our video as well. It's really, really cool. That's also very interesting. We released Real Flow 2014 uh, July 16th, uh, June 16th, I think it was, uh, last week. We released the first patch, which also made way easier the way that uh, this version gets licensed. We adopted RLM as a license server for uh, Real Flow. We also had the node log version that we launched with this one. So we have floating, node log. And the big announcement for SIGGRAPH is that we now have uh, free educational licenses for educational facilities. So anyone that wants to teach RealFlow, just get in touch with us, uh, check out the press release that we put up yesterday, and go to our website, basically.